Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. Today we're taking a look at Arena. No, that's the Arena. No, that's the Arena as well. That's Arena, but nope, not that one. Arena, no. Uh, Arena, wait, really? Duran, Duran? No. Arena, no. Uh, that, wait, that one right there. Yes, that Arena. 2011, starring Kellen Lutz. Yes, Emmett from Twilight and Samuel Jackson. Now, Kellen Lutz plays David Lord, a guy who uh, is kidnapped, basically, and taken into this underground competition that is being run by this crazy broadcaster played by Samuel Jackson. And he's broadcasting it on the internets, okay? And the FBI, the CIA, the uh, MI6, and Carmen San Diego cannot find where this broadcast is coming from because he's just that good. And with his assistance, with the special computer that... that yeah, I don't know where they got it from. Okay, they broadcast these brutal to the death fights that are really gory, and we see David Lord as he takes part in these fights and tries to survive so he can make it finally to the main crazy broadcaster and kill him and get out of this competition or, or escape. You know, it, not quite. You yeah, know, Arena's there. It's nothing original. You can see why it's direct-to-video fodder. Okay, Kellen Lutz is, must be in here trying to shed that Twilight skin, just like uh, most of the ladies here are showing a lot of skin. You've got Katia Winter in here from Dexter, who has no problems getting naked, as you can see here, plus in many other scenes where not only her, but other gratuitous TNA shots are in there, along with the gratuitous blood and guts. Yes, gore whores out there. If you're looking for a movie that's got lots of gore in it, this one's definitely got it for you, and I loved seeing the practical effects, though they did too much blood on the camera, which kind of took away from it. Don't need to do that much, but I did love seeing all the practical gore effects, okay? Sam Jackson as the crazy broadcaster is also a lot of fun to watch for the scenes he's in, and uh, you even got Daniel Day Kim, who's from Lost, who's looking for a paycheck as well, who makes a little short bit in there. Now, you would think a film, though, Arena, with such a deep plot, would at least focus on having some awesome fight scenes, and unfortunately, the fight scenes come up short in most cases. Cases, okay, uh, though you do get to see bits where Kellen Lutz's character is making Bruce Willis look like a pansy as he takes so many cuts and bruises and things, it's lucky the man is standing, okay? Uh, so, you know, you do get that, but the fight scenes aren't quite inspired, and like I said, they do try to kind of play this uh, love angle as well, and it just doesn't quite work. And even though it's got the power of Sam Jackson in there, it didn't quite save it. If you like an exploitation film, if you like the old type of 80s action exploitations with lots of TNA and gore and very little plot, then this film could be for you. Otherwise, if you're looking for something that's a decent Sam Jackson film, don't need to watch this. And all you Twilight fans out there, you little tweens, avoid this film, even though it has Emmett in it. Let me tell you, you'll see a different side of him and a different side of many other people that you shouldn't see at your age anyway. And that'll about do it for us here until the final cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.